I spent eight years as a graduate student, and that was the first time in my life that I experienced enforced poverty, and uh, I needed uh, to access things like mental health services. I know how hard you guys work, and you deserve fair treatment, fair wages. I, for one, want them to be able to pay you guys what you deserve because, you know, we can't have the CEOs and the, um, you know, folks at the top making way more money than you guys. I'm here today, uh, first of all, to say thank you to the GEO for all your dedication to being out on the line, to going back to the table, what, six times during this two weeks? Yeah. Yeah. Too many times to get nothing from it. So we're here standing, first of all, in solidarity with GEO. Yeah. 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 I'm also here today because we're announcing that UIC United faculty will be taking a strike authorization vote beginning next Monday, April 8th through the 10th. We across seven unions in 10 years, there were 17 strike authorization votes taken, representing most of the workers across the UI system. Is that right? No! That ain't right! As musicians, you know, we're, we, we serve the public, we serve each other, we defer to make one voice. The Chicago Symphony is famous for unified impact. And what that comes from is a, a, a primary spirit to put aside what we might want individually for the service of a collective energy, a collective beauty. And, the, and for those who step outside of that kind of protocol, justice is swift. Because the conditions that you guys are facing on the job are just unsustainable. <laughs> I don't have to tell you this. Uh, <laughs> you are the backbone of this institution. And you have been out of the line for too long. Damn straight! The administration here has a responsibility to this institution, to the well-being of the students and the faculty and the institution as a whole to treat you with respect and dignity. And that starts at the bargaining table. Yeah. That starts Damn at the bargaining straight. table. And they have a responsibility to hear your demands and to meet them reasonably, right? Uh, and and from, from what I understand from talking to the leaders of this, this strike, the leadership of this administration has not been meeting you all in a responsible way. They haven't been negotiating.